Hey everyone, welcome back. This is Aviation 5 here with another video. Today we'll be doing a sort of a double uh, review of the Gemini Jets FedEx MD-11 in 1-400 scale. Uh, I got two of these models for my Seattle airport um, because these are the main aircraft that FedEx flies to Seattle. Um, there's always a couple at the airport on flight radar, so I did get two of these to fill up the cargo gates there. Um, but for this video, I'll just be reviewing one of them since they are the same. Um, but yeah, so beautiful model. I've been waiting for Gemini to release a FedEx MD-11 for years now. Um, and just recently they did, um, last year around August. So I made sure to get two of these. So um, yeah, the FedEx MD-11 is quite rare. Uh, these um, these two models uh, I managed to get just from the uh, website they had. I think they are still around just because they've been producing a bunch of them since then. Um, they're, they aren't in production anymore, but I think you can still find these um, pretty easily in certain places. So uh, yeah, I would definitely recommend getting these models because as I said, the FedEx MD-11s are quite a rare aircraft um, for pretty much any company that's released 1-400 scale versions of these. Um, and these are in their latest mold for the MD-11, which I'm a big fan of. So yeah, I would definitely pick one of these up if you can find one. Anyways, I will start off with the box now. So taking a look at the box here, we've got the Gemini Jets logo uh, at the top, made for collectors by collectors as well. We've got the FedEx Express logo in the middle and then at the bottom, we have the computer-generated image of the aircraft, McDonnell Douglas MD-11F, uh, and one 400 scale die-cast model aircraft. Taking a look now at the flap on the inside of the box, you can see uh, some information about this aircraft, which you can pause and read now. Um, looking at the bottom, you can see the Gemini Jets logo and some information there on the right. On this side, we've got another Gemini Jets logo, uh, then the FedEx logo, the computer generated image of the aircraft, McDonnell Douglas MD 11F, 1 400 scale die cast, and the item number. Right here, you can see another Gemini Jets logo and uh, some information as well. And finally, this side is the same as its opposite side on the box. Taking a look now at the back, uh, you can see a computer-generated image of the aircraft lifting out. We've got the Gemini Jets logo again, and all of their company information just below that. And then finally, at the bottom, you can see there on the left that this is a 2019 Gemini Jets release. So that is the box, um, and now I will start with the model itself. So the um, the MD-11 is a medium-sized aircraft. It's about the size of like an A330. Um, but yeah, so it again, it just this model looks really, really nice. So starting off um, in the nose, we've got. Uh, the nose cone, the cockpit windows, and the windshield wipers. There's some text right there, which I believe is like the name FedEx gave this aircraft. I don't exactly know what it says because it's too small. Anyways, we've got the uh, L1 boarding door there uh, for the flight crew to board the plane. Just below that, there's some text that says the world on time, which is the uh, sort of motto motto for the uh, FedEx company. Anyways, moving on, we've got the um, nose gear. Taking a look now along the side of the aircraft, you can see there's the uh, forward cargo door for the uh, technically the main deck. Um, 
I don't know if you want to call it the main deck or the upper deck since both store cargo. We've got the cargo hold down below and then the one that runs the full length of the aircraft up on top. Anyways, uh, moving on, we've got the FedEx logo uh, there. We have the engines with the FedEx logo again on the side. Uh, the winglet is there and the port navigation light as well. We've got an emergency exit there, uh, an antenna and a beacon light. Got two little viewing windows there in the cargo hold. Uh, right in, right there is the registration, which is November uh, 625 Foxtrot Echo. And we also have the American flag. Finally there on the fuselage is the uh, rear emergency exit door. And um, yeah, so now we have uh, one of the coolest parts of the MD-11, which is the uh, third engine, which you can see there mounted on the tail. It looks really cool. Again, we have the FedEx logo printed on that. We've got the tail fin there and the horizontal stabilizers. Now, I'm not sure uh, where the APU is on the MD-11s and DC-10s, so if anyone knows, you can leave that in the comments below. Anyways, Here's a view of this aircraft from the back. Moving on to this side of the plane, pretty much the same, uh, except for the cargo doors, which is there and there for the um, cargo hold below. And then we have the uh, navigation light there on the starboard side. So that's the um, right side of the aircraft, and now I will show you the front of the aircraft. So, uh, like I said before, the engines look beautiful. No complaints at all. I really love the fan blades. They're, they are actually quite similar to the style of engines that Gemini did for the 777 in terms of how the fan blades look. Um, and I'm a big fan of that sort of uh, silver printed um, engine. Each fan blade is visible uh, and it looks really, really good. So yeah, those are the uh, two engines there. And then the engine in the back uh, does not have any fan blades um, visible. It's just a black painted um, cylinder there. It does, however, indent um, quite a bit so it goes quite far back, but there aren't any fan blades, it's just painted black. Anyways, that's the uh, front of the aircraft. Taking a look now at the underside, again, uh, I really like the silver painting um, on the bottom. I think it looks pretty cool with the purple and orange for the FedEx, but yeah, so um, again, tons of detailing up in the nose. Just things look really, really nice. Got the um, nose gear and the nose gear hold doors. Got one antenna there. Moving on back. We've got a bit of detailing there under the engines, which uh, looks nice. We have the stand hole, the Gemini Jets logo, and the rear landing gear. Uh, none of the gear tilt like these, although the... Um, MD-11 gear don't really tilt to begin with that much in real life. But yeah, so these are just locked in place. However, all of the landing gear roll extremely nicely on this model. Um, so that is a big plus. Even though I don't usually roll them uh, around, it is just kind of nice to have rolling landing gear. I just think it's just an extra thing that looks good. Um... And finally, now in the back, there's a little cargo door there, and then maybe the APU access port. I don't really know, uh, since I don't know where the APU is on this model. But yeah, so that will be it for this review. Bit of a longer review, because there was a bit more to cover. Uh, but yeah, like I said in the beginning, uh, if you can find the model, definitely pick it up, because it is... This flies to most of the... Uh, major U.S. international airports, and also a couple um, international airports in Asia and in Europe. So yeah, that'll be it for this video. If you enjoyed, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel, 
and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.